I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Listen, I don't know if it's possible to win the off season, but if it is, someone should make sure Regan Grimes gets a giant trophy for what he's doing right now, because he's done nothing but stock up win after win lately. As far as I know, we haven't heard anything definitive from his camp about what's on deck for his contest season this year. But if I were a diehard member of the RG Army, I'd be blowing up his comments on a daily basis until he broke the silence, because he looks like an absolute monster right now. He needed an extended offseason to add more density to his frame, and if what we're seeing in the gym ends up translating over to the stage, then it will be mission accomplished because the only thing missing from his game is elite size to keep him from being over-muscled in some of the deeper lineups. And if he can walk the fine line by figuring out how to keep his conditioning tight, I wouldn't rule him out as a potential game changer once we get deeper into the schedule. Like I just said, I don't know if I can say that Regan is winning the offseason, but Hunter Labrada might have a thing or two to say about that because he's starting to enter untouched territory in his own right. According to the latest reports from Hunter's camp, his weight is already north of 280 pounds, which has to be close to an all-time high, despite the fact that his conditioning is as good as it's ever been at this point in the year. Hunter's been pretty transparent about some of the changes that he was planning to make this year. And right now, in late March, it looks like he's pulling out all the right levers. And when you have a guy with his track record training with a chip on his shoulder, like he's got something to prove, that can be a dangerous combination because I still don't think we've seen him reach his ceiling yet. Now, if we're taking a look at the whole off-season situation and just going by sheer size and freak factor, then William Martins deserves to be mentioned in this conversation because I don't know if there's anyone else in bodybuilding walking around at over 330 pounds who's in this kind of shape right now. I've said many times on this show before that I'm a big believer in doubling down on your strengths, and it seems like that's exactly what he's doing, which makes him a major threat if he can also solve the conditioning piece here too. We've seen him knock on the door of winning one show or another a handful of times over the last year and a half. So if he gets himself into the right lineup, he has the potential to give the judges a lot to think about, because there are only a handful of guys in bodybuilding who can hold their own with him in this size department. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to call what we do here journalism, but I do know that one of the number one rules for real journalists is to make sure all of your sources are ironclad. So when I hear someone who has an ironclad reputation like my friend Justin Miller talk about Kareth Bajo and say that he's never seen a bodybuilder look this good nine weeks out from a show, I take that one straight to the bank because you're not going to get a more reputable endorsement than that. At this point, it's still probably too early to make any sort of predictions about the 212 lineup at the New York Pro. But if we just take Justin at his word, then that has to put Kareth on the top of the list for the front runners because he's not going to make a statement like that if he doesn't wholeheartedly believe it. So unless someone strolls in there and catches us all completely by surprise, we should probably go ahead and start penciling his name in now, because he might already have this one in the bag. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.